Galactic Navy Officer Becomes an Adventurer, written by Edo, Chapter 72 Dragon 5 Part 2. I feel like I'm still in a dream. I really spoke to a dragon. It's not a dream, Ryasama. I also didn't think I'd get to witness something like this in my life as well. I didn't think even dragons have errands, though. Of course, they would. She's actually pretty busy, you know? She has to take Iris back to her old nest, then cooperate with her in order to enhance our dragon information database after all. She'll probably have a fairly hard time for a good while. But it's all for achieving direct communication, so I hope she does her best. Oh, come to think of it, we'll have to provide Gloria with her own personal communicator as well. Since we have some in reserve, I'll remodel one to a belt or something that she'll find easy to use. Alan Sama will start working on the corpse now. Oh right. I almost forgot about the main event. I'll be counting on you, Karina-san. How would you like to start? Fortunately, we managed to find an instruction manual in the guild archives about dragon dissection methods. We will use the manual as a reference. Karina-san brought out an old-looking book. I bet dragon corpses are very rare to come by, so it certainly was a very valuable book. I see. I heard the scales and blood are considered as precious materials, but... The dragon has been dead for an entire evening already, so I guess you'll have some trouble collecting the blood. Do not worry. There's a method written in this manual regarding such a thing as well. In any case, we will try not to waste any usable materials that can be recovered from the dragon corpse. Actually, we can still make a tidy profit as long as we announce that the materials came from a dragon, even if the items have rotted already. They would still be highly sought after by avid collectors. Oh, that's some welcome news. Yeah. I'm sure this place has its own fair share of avid rare item collectors. I wonder how exactly they'll dissect the corpse, though. Can I stay and observe the process? Of course. You're basically our employer this time anyway, Alan Sama. However, the dissection process may take up to three days at most. Furthermore, they'll work on the dragon corpse around the clock in shifts. Whoa. So it'll take that much time and effort, huh? I certainly can't stay and observe them the entire time. Are you guys really going to work around the clock? Of course. We have to process and preserve the materials as quickly as possible after all. We have already contracted adventurers to serve as guards. We took up that job, by the way. The one who chimed in was Carl. Oh, I see. I'll be able to rest easy since it's you guys, Carl. I'm counting on you all. Oh, right. I haven't thanked you yet. Have I? Thank you very much for your cooperation today. You really helped me out. It was nothing. We did it to repay a favor after all. Just leave guard duty to us. We'll make sure to protect everything. I then saw a throng of people who came from within the city quickly approaching us. Since Gloria was gone already, the city guards were finally unable to hold down the enthusiastic crowd. Carl and the rest of the men from Gale quickly formed up in order to protect the dragon corpse. The people probably just wanted to see the dragon corpse from up close. They followed Gale's arrangements and flocked a little distance away from the dragon corpse as they conversed with each other animatedly. The people from the Commerce Guild already gathered around the dragon corpse to size it up. I see. They'll be making use of ropes to secure footholds, huh? Since it's already started getting dark, some of them were busy setting up bonfires as well. They all seemed fairly skilled in their line of work. I guess leaving it to the Commerce Guild was a great decision after all. We were all quite free anyway, so I had my clan members assist them as well. I also joined them, of course. Oh, Alan. So the thing about the dragon was true, huh? The one who called out to me was the city guard captain, Guido. Chief Kevin from the Adventurer's Guild came together with him. Uh huh. I'm glad you chose to believe me in the end. That dragon won't suddenly go on a rampage, will it? No. I'm not sure how much you'll trust my words, but I guarantee something like that won't happen no matter what. Well, I guess I'll just have to take you on your word then. See ya. Captain Guido left together with the rest of the city guards. It sure is a splendid-looking dragon corpse, Alan. Just tell me if you're lacking hands. I'll send some men from the Adventurer's Guild to help out. Understood. Thank you very much for the offer. 
We seem to be doing fine for now, but I'll call on the Adventurer's Guild if we ever need help later on. I'll hold you to that. We'll take on anything you throw at us. Kevin San threw another wistful glance at the Dragon Corpse and started making his way back to the Adventurer's Guild in low spirits. I guess he really wanted the Adventurer's Guild to be the one that handles the Dragon Corpse. The prep work went smoothly with the help of our clan. It looks like we were ready to dissect the corpse. All the clan members audibly gulped and watched on in anticipation. However, the dissection work turned out to be quite a plain and modest process. Twenty men or so held large plier-like tools and started peeling off the scales. I've been observing them work for about thirty minutes, but they still haven't made much progress since they were peeling the scales off one by one. I called out to Karina San, who was also watching over the workers. Are they going to keep at it like this? That's right. They will probably do this for the entire night. According to this manual, you have to peel off all the scales first before you can use blades to cut open the skin. I see. I guess that's reasonable. I was interested in watching the dissection process, but I just didn't have the time. I guess we better return to our home now. Okay then. We'll excuse ourselves here. Understood. Oh, Alan Sama. Silas Sama told me to invite you for dinner tomorrow evening. How about it? Of course, the rest of your party is invited as well. I checked with my party members and no one offered any objection. What perfect timing. I also have something I want to discuss with Silas San. All right. We'll take you up on your offer then. Thank you very much. I'm sure Silas Sama will be overjoyed. Well then, I will come for you via carriage in the evening just like last time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. After checking with Carl and the rest who were in charge of security and undergoing a customary inspection in front of the city gates, we finally headed back to our home. When we reached our home, I noticed a group of people who were gathered just before the entrance gate. I wonder what's up? Ooh, the clan leader has come back. I beg you, please give us a chance to join your clan as well. We're a C-rank party. I'm sure we'll be able to make ourselves useful. It looks like they were folks hoping to join the clan. We did have people like them approach us from time to time ever since we made a name for ourselves while hunting bandits, but this was the first time this many came. I'm sorry, but we're not recruiting additional members right now. We're already more than a hundred men strong after all. If we do end up recruiting members in the future, we'll certainly put up a notice and inform the guild. So please come again at that time. Even after I politely turned them down, some of them refused to leave and continued begging me, but I maintained my stance and explained it to them calmly once more. In the end, they could only give up and leave dejectedly. It looks like the event today had a very pronounced effect on the popularity of our clan. Well, maybe they were just after a share of the spoils this time. I brought back an intact dragon corpse after all. Our employees were lined up beyond the entrance gate with Sally San at the helm. What is it this time? Alan Sama. Congratulations on successfully slaying a dragon. We have prepared a celebratory feast for you all tonight. Why, thank you. I'm certainly looking forward to it. All right. Please bring out a barrel of wine from the cellar for tonight's dinner. Understood. It would be nice to have a little drink on occasions such as this after all.